A heavy rope, 50 feet long, weighs half of a pound per foot and hangs over the edge of a building 120 feet high. How much work is done in pulling the rope to the top of the building? Well, let's get a nice picture here. We have a nice uh, tall building. Make a nice tall building here, as you can see. And uh helps to put a little detail in, I guess, when you're drawing your pictures. Maybe there's some windows in this building. Don't be envious of my superior artistic skills here. Maybe there's a door, like so. And here's you sitting on top of this building. Actually, you're standing. And uh, you're holding on to this rope. And this rope is 50 feet long. So it's going to come stretching down the side of the building, like so. And what we're going to do, then, is we're going to try and figure the work done in pulling the rope to the top of the building by first cutting it up into a bunch of sections and figure the work done for moving each of those sections to the top of the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the rope into n sub-intervals. And each of those is going to be of length. Well, I guess it depends on how many sub-intervals I choose, but we'll say delta x, which is going to be 50 divided by n. So 50 divided by the number of sub-intervals, that's the width of each sub-interval, that is delta x. So we're going to divide it into, here's our n sub-intervals here. All right, now I'm going to pick one of these here. Let's go ahead and take this one. And I'm going to pick a value right here. So we're going to pick the ith sub-interval. That's the one I chose because I say it's the ith sub-interval. And pick then, we'll say x sub i star. That's going to be this point right here in our sub-interval x sub i star in this ith sub-interval from x sub i minus 1 to x sub i. Okay, so that's this region right here. Here's x sub i minus 1, here's x sub i, and this point that I picked is x sub i star. Now the work in moving that to the top, to move that section, x sub i minus 1, x sub i, to the top is going to be what? I'll call it w sub i, and it's going to be the force sub i times the distance sub i. Well, what's the force of this little subsection here? Well, it's a half a pound per foot times how many feet? Delta x feet. So it's going to be 0.5 times delta x, or 1 half times delta x. That's the force. And then times the distance. Well, the distance roughly for this subinterval is going to be the x sub i star I picked. Now, Part of it's going to have to move a little bit farther than that. Part of it's going to have to move not quite as far. But on average, we could say, or roughly, this subsection has to move a distance of x sub i star if we're measuring positive x off the top of the building. So we should make that clear. Here is our x-axis here, 0 on top, and x equals 50 at the bottom of this rope. So the distance we have to move it is going to be x sub i star. So if we add up then the work done for moving all those sections, we're going to get an approximation of the work. The work itself is going to be the sum, i going from 1 to n, of w sub i, which is going to be the sum, i going from 1 to n, of, we'll write it this way, 0.5 or 1 half x sub i star times delta x. And so that's an approximation, we should say, of the work. So the actual work itself is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum i going from 1 to n, 1 half x sub i star delta x. Hey, that's exactly equal to the integral from 0 to 50. Remember, delta x was 50 over n. From 0 to 50 of 1 half x dx. So evaluating this integral, that's 1 half x squared over 2 from 0 to 50 which is equal to 1 half times 50 squared, which is 2,500 over 2. And then, of course, minus 0 when I put the 0 in there. That's 2,500 over 4, which is 625. And the unit on that is foot pounds. Our distance was in feet, and our force was in pounds. So 625 foot pounds is the work required to pull the rope to the top of the building.